Hey peeps! Welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I am so, so excited to bring you the finish of my um, canvas that I was sent from Bella Art Diamonds. It is the Leo Teacup from Hayes Soleil Art and I, oh, I've had the best time working on this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight in there and um, show you. Obviously you will have seen um, the sort of, the, the final bits of me working on it um, in a little time lapse. Um, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to work on and how pleased I was with the quality of the drills. But we will get into all of that. First of all, I will give you a show. Let's have a look. So, I'll just move you out a bit. There we go. Let me get you all on screen. Okay, so this is it all done. You can see that sparkle and shine there. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and I can't wait to get it up on the wall. Um, this is obviously the Leo teacup. Um, I know that the Pisces one is already available and I'm definitely gonna be looking at getting that. Um, my daughter is a Leo, so this was a really nice one to work on for her. And obviously I've also, I completed it, um, did the last sort of um, 30 by 40 section um, as part of the hashtag cup of coffee DP along event, which is going on throughout the month of November. So I'm gonna bring you down now and we will have a bit of a closer look at the canvas and just talk through my feelings. Okay, so I've brought you in really nice and close now because I just want you to see how snug these drills are sitting on the canvas. There is very little, if any, in the way of gapping. And it just, I don't think I've ever had a square diamond painting that just clicked together as beautifully as this one did. And you can see here the use of the ABs there as well in the, the Leo symbol here. Um, the canvas is um, mostly colour blocked sort of areas. And the only bit that I sort of found maybe a bit tedious was just these the corner areas because there's a lot of one colour. Um, but actually doing that in small sections worked quite well for me to sort of stave off that boredom. Um, I love the variation of colour in the sunflowers and again the use of AB. It's subtle, it's not overpowering, um, but it works really, really well. Um, again, you know, little colour blocked area here and then we've got these lovely sort of burgundy outlines on the flowers which just bring everything together. The colours were really lovely for that kind of late summer vibe um, which I really enjoyed. It fit in very well with what I was sort of feeling seasonally um, so in that respect, it was absolutely great for me. I just, I cannot get over the shimmer and shine on this. Um, just to 
to you, give full disclosure. Um, this is my little trash pot, so I'll show you what we got there. Um, as I was working on it, I felt like I picked out a lot more trash drills than I actually did. But here you can see it was fairly insignificant, really, when you consider the sort of square drills I am pickier with anyway. And um, with the amount of colour blocking. Um, yeah, but no, um, some of these are where you've got... Like here, there's like two drills stuck together. Um, in fact, that's most of the time where you can see drills that look fine. It's just because there was two stuck together and then there's some little blobby bits and yeah. But um, nothing really unusual there and plenty, plenty of drills. Um, to choose from anyway so I was not concerned about running out. Um, I will go through the drills now. So um, yeah I don't think there's anything that I ran out of. The main burgundy section of the canvas was letter A and I still have A whole tub plus some bits and bags that never made it into the tub so they give you plenty and that does mean that you can be picky if you want to make sure that you're using the best of the best when it comes to the diamonds um, for the ABs what have we got left AB wise um, where are you there um, So those were our, oops, throw them away. Those were our four ABs. So we've got the white, the orange, the green, and the yellow. Um, plenty left of each, and they're gonna go into my spares and I will use them for something else. Um, everything else, you know, enough left for everything. And the quality of the drills, again, I cannot, overstate how nice they were um they lined up beautifully in the the bella art de nicole tray that comes with the kits um so this is their you you can only get this with their paintings um yeah i just i mean lovely obviously you this is not a budget painting and that shows in the quality so you are really you know, you're getting premium and I think for the price it's actually reasonable um, this comes out at 54 pounds um, sterling um, that is free shipping. That is supporting a small business. You know, amazing customer service. You feel like a person and not just a number <laughs> when when you're dealing with them. And I have nothing but absolute praise for their ethos in running their company. I have been so, so pleased to have been a tiny, tiny little part of them growing their business. So yeah, um, I always said that I would 100% tell you if there was anything um, that was a problem and genuinely other than my own personal boredom <laughs> and these sort of sections. But that's, that's just one of those things. That is you know, the outcome of the painting easily outweighs me being a bit grumpy at having to do too much colour blocking um, when I actually like colour blocking and I just oh I can't, I can't stop touching it I just it feels so lovely and smooth 
and just yeah I mean just look at that yeah but I, d I don't want anyone to think that I'm just bigging them up because they sent this to me to review um, genuinely I will purchase from them again I am really pleased with how this turned out and as far as I can tell you know this is only the beginning for them and things are only gonna get better and better I would highly recommend them um, shipping is included for all but the most remote places um, so do check with them if you've got any um, queries about that so I think yeah just um, keep an eye on um, them on um, so we've got uh, it is bellartdiamonds.com and Bellart de Nicole if you're looking for accessories and trays etc um, do keep an eye on my channel um, I will hopefully be purchasing and unboxing more of their canvases in the future but for now this little journey is over I could not be happier um, and I'm a little bit sad <laughs> that it's finished because it's been quite a big part of my that sort of this this season has been me working on this and um, yeah I've had the best time uh, so huge huge thank you to Jamie and Nicole at Bella Art Diamonds for being willing to send this to me to work up and review I hope that you are happy um, with the outcome I really really love it um, yeah so let me know down in the comments do you like this is it on your wish list? Is it something that you are looking to purchase? Or is there something else from the Bella Arts Diamond range that you want to get your hands on? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. Um, in the meantime, all that remains really is to say a huge thank you to all of you for watching. Um, please remember, if you're not already subscribed, please do consider it pop over to Facebook you can find me on the Crafty Coven where you can share all of your own progress pictures if you wish and if you want to support the channel more directly you can find us on Patreon. On that note a massive massive big love and thanks to my current Patreon members um, you make everything a little bit easier and it's an absolute joy to have you as part of my little coven. So um, that's all for me and until next time Stay crafty!